Hi guys, it's Renisti, back again with another FHM video, this time Season 4, Episode 8. We are in Beijing, China for the World Championships. Ignore whatever this says. It's, it's not true. We're going to be playing Japan, China, the UK, or Great Britain, Ukraine, and Croatia. Before that, however, there are a couple contracts I want to try and renew here. Man, Tatsumi at 15k. What a contract. And he does not want to resign. Wonderful. What about... No. Really? You just won a damn championship, bro. Come on. And let's see if Aito wants to renew. Not even him? Looks like we have to get a couple of new forwards in next season. All right, to say that we're strapped for options is kind of an understatement. Because for one thing, Ali Shalskas retired. Armales retired. So our best players now are Ignatavichus, Kailinikovas, and Binkulis. You know, and our best defenseman is Vavilovas. So it's definitely not the strongest Lithuania team, but we've got some young guys who are like 14, 15 that have good potential. So hopefully they end up panning out, but it's just too early to try and bring them in. All right, let's see how game one against Japan goes. No surprise, we lose. So we got four players on Team Japan. Kento Suzuki, Hirota Sato, Hayata, and Furuhashi. Wow. And we're up against China. They actually have a pretty decent team compared to us. You know, Jake Chalios, Ryan Sproul, Cliff Poo, Trevor Wong. Good players, so... Am I overly optimistic we'll get it done? Not exactly, but... I'm more than welcome to a pleasant surprise. Oh my lord. How wrong could I have been? Your staff has just informed you that Ren Chujo has been involved in an off-ice incident. The fans and even some of his teammates are clearly displeased. And some rifts have appeared in the team. In particular, the following teammates have made their anger apparent. Thomas Sermon and Isa Utsuka. Wonderful. And since some rifts have appeared in the team, I'm going to try and calm down. So let's try and intervene here. And somehow, Hiroto Sato's pissed off now. Wonderful. Time to play against JB. Let's see if we can actually get a win for once. Shocker. We do not get a win. Uh, going for gold, eh? What a great title I gave to this episode. Oh, hello there. The Graz 99ers. Are we sticking to a team in orange? The money's not that much better, but to be honest, I do want to see how things pan out with Nico. All right, we're up against Ukraine. How's their team looking? Ivan Ludnia, Brooklyn Kalmakov. They've got some good players. Let's hope we can pull off somewhat of an upset here. We have Paulius Griboskas with two goals. I'll take it. Ignatavichus and Evstam Gaev with a couple points each, too. Not too shabby. All right, so the awards. We were not nominated for any staff awards, but some of our guys are up for awards. The MVP goes to Tanner Lashinsky. For some reason, I didn't see his name on any of the stats charts whenever we would look at the standings. I guess I just missed it. Playoff MVP. If it's not Ren Chujo, I'm throwing my laptop. Okay, but no. No. I disagree with this. As much as Arnkvam was great for us, no. Ren Chujo for me. Even Furuhashi makes a good case, but Chujo to me is was by far the best player in the playoffs. Wasn't even close. Best rookie of the year goes to Rukia Morita from Yokohama. Congrats to you. Best defenseman goes to Jay Holiday on the Hokkaido Red Eagles. Best defensive forward will go to Easton Armstrong for a second straight year. It will not. Kazuki Lawler from Tohoku. Best goalie, shockingly, goes to Matthias Arkdran. I do not... Actually, his stats were pretty good, but I don't know. I thought he wouldn't get it this year. And then the best GM of the year, Masaki Shirono. And the best coach, Nobuhiro Sugawara. And the best coach, Nobuhiro Sugawara. So Hokkaido takes most of the awards here. Let's see if Ren Chujo actually wants to stick around here. Okay, dude, you were great in the playoffs, but not 41 and a half grand for three years good. Come on. Like 13 points in 40 games. 
You want your pay to increase by what? Almost three times, two and a half times? No. Matsuno, you're just declining a bit too much for my liking. Shunya Kawaguchi, you've actually earned, in my opinion, to stick around. So let's see what you want. Ren Chujo, take some goddamn notes. This is more than fair to ask for. Sure, you're on the back nine. You know, you're declining now. But you had a good season. You worked your tail off. You played great when we actually needed you. So, you know what? I'll gladly give you that. No questions asked. And Yuya Wakimoto. It's always good to have a third goalie. So, I'll just try and keep him around for the purpose of that. 15 Gs one year. Not a problem. All right, now that we're heading into our last game of the tournament, hopefully we can beat Croatia and avoid the relegation. And we do. So let's sim to the rest of the day and we'll find out where we finish. We finished fifth. So Jesus, man. No surprise, China. They win at home. They top the group. And Japan gets silver. GB gets bronze. Ukraine gets fourth. We get the fifth place finish. Yeah, as much as, obviously, Renisti and myself, I'm a Lithuanian and I'm proud. we got to go to a new national team. We've got to leave. It's going to be tough to bring up, you know, to keep... It's going to be tough to keep a rapidly declining group of hockey players in an actually competitive international hockey tournament. You know, like, our best players are dropping like flies. You know, Kumanauskas is barely kicking around. It's only a matter of time before he retires, but he wasn't even good enough to make the team this year. You know, sure, we have up-and-comers like Noreka, uh, Griboskas, Ignatavichus, Jokna, Vavilovas even. Martin Kevichus even is pretty good himself on the back end. But we still have a long way to go if we want to actually compete for a Division One b gold medal. So, for the time being... We're leaving Team Lithuania. Another job offer, this time from Vostervik's IK and the Hockey All Svenskin. Hmm. Their team is not abysmally bad. Is that Cedric Lacroix? Oh my god, it is. Oh, his dad was an unreal player, man. Oh, he was so good. He's pretty unreal too. Half a point a game, not too shabby. Left wing and right D though? Did not know this guy was a jack-of-all-trades. And I'm sure the money's going to be good. Yeah, 31 Gs. Pro 44 Gs. Wow. I wasn't expecting that much, but yeah, we're saying no. Oh, the Toledo Walleye in the Kelly Cup Finals, albeit they're down to zip, but there's, seven, there's at least two more games to be played, and they can tie things up. Oh, no, 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 no. What just happened? Two new clicks have formed out of nowhere? Oh no, this is not happening. This is not ha- Two? Quiet hostility aura in our locker room, and I don't like it. So, Ren Chujo, you're leaving. So, my guess is that once he's out, this click will break up. On the other hand, none of these guys are leaving anytime soon. So, I'm going to intervene here. And... It looks like someone left the click. I can't remember who it was. Ishikawa. Good. So Hirota Sato, you're a good leader. You can clearly convince these other guys to uh, not be so exclusive to their teammates. Meanwhile, we still got some Hall of Fame ballots to vote on. So let's once again tick off Brad Rickerman's name. Let's go for Big Walt here. Keith Kachuk. Rod the Bod. No-brainer. And Sergey Gonchar, as much as Bergeron, in my opinion, deserves it, I just, he'll get it just eventually. He has to. But I think right now it's best if we go with these four guys. The Oshawa Generals would like you to join the organization. What is this? The It's definitely not the first OHL offer because I think way back when, I think it was Kingston offered us. I feel like there was another team there. I feel like it might have been Sarnia. I might be wrong in saying that. I know for a fact Kingston offered us way back when. Still, though, uh, as good as the money may be. Yeah, no, it's not even close. Bye. So, Toledo ended up losing in the Kelly Cup Finals in five games. However, on the way there, I noticed they slayed a certain playoff demon that Barry couldn't take care of. So, I guess this was a good year for Barry McCock and her clubs all around. And they ended up beating Idaho in the semifinals. 
in six. But Norfolk was just too much for them. Hell of a run, though, Toledo. Good job. So our season score is 50, which I believe that's our highest number so far. We got a whopping eight out of eight for financial health bonuses. So that is a hell of an achievement in itself. So how many points do we have to... Oof. Ten points. Barry, you are going to get some upgrades. For one thing, let's actually make him more of a negotiator. Let's up that to 15. Uh, player management, let's up it to 10. So we got four left. Defensive training, let's just make it at least sevens across the board. So you will improve tactics, in-game tactics, and player motivation. He's now relatively unknown, and his stats, I mean, hey, is negotiating. It's in the bright green. It's getting better. So who knows what happens next with Barry. So that is it. That is all, guys. Thank you very much for watching once again another great season. If you've been here from season one, thank you for sticking around. I guess you were rewarded in the end. We finally won a championship. Obviously, internationally, wasn't as great this year, but before we actually end the episode... We're going to do this on our own terms. We will get a new international team next season. Where that is, it remains to be determined. But for now, we're staying in Nico. Unless we get that good of an offer tomorrow, quote-unquote. Please remember to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in Season 5.